Data science. It's a term that covers a broad range of skills. Let me show you what I mean. Now, you've probably seen this, but let's just go over it one more time, just in case you haven't. I forget who first wrote this. It's a Venn diagram, but I'll put the link in the description. So we have On this side, we have computer science. And then here we have maths and statistics, like that. And then finally, in this third part here, we have domain expertise. You end up with something that looks like that. And in this intersection in the middle, that is where the data scientist lies. Those are the skills you need. Josh Blumenstock, who's an associate professor at the University of California, Berkeley, said a data scientist is someone who knows more about statistics than a computer scientist and more computer science than a statistician. Now, obviously, that's a bit of a joke. He's poking fun at the term there. But there is a lot of truth in that. So let's think for a moment about what a data scientist is trying to do. It's getting very windy now. I'm frightened that the camera's going to get blown over. It's on quite a flimsy stand. Data scientists are trying to get insight from data and they're doing that by asking the right questions of the data and then combining those skills that we mentioned earlier. So there are three sorts of processes really. There's data collection, data processing and then data modelling. So these are the skills that I think you'll need to do data science. Probability and statistics. You need to know about probability and statistics in order to be able to understand your data. Descriptive statistics to be able to gain an initial insight into what your data is telling you. You need to have some knowledge of a programming language in order to certainly process your data, possibly to collect your data and then to model your data. That's going to be something like Python or R. Those are two good candidates. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Python's very strong at it. I have much more experience with Python. A lot of people like R, but whatever works for you. Data visualization is essential because you'll want to communicate whatever you find in your data with other people. And visual communication works best when you're trying to explain these things. And also for you to give yourself some initial insight when you're doing exploratory data analysis. So you're going to have to learn how to do that. But, you know, you can do that quite easily with Python and R. So that also really comes under learning to code. Statistical analysis. Do you know your probability distributions and how to do hypothesis testing? You're also going to need to learn linear algebra. In fact, linear algebra is probably more important than statistics, or at least as important, because if you think about data and the way data is stored, where you have columns for features and rows for entries, you've essentially got a two-dimensional matrix there. And linear algebra has some very powerful techniques for manipulating matrices, which is why it's essential for data science. At the very least, you're going to need to be able to do linear regression and logistic regression and SQL as well, SQL. You're going to need to be able to interact with databases. So a rudimentary knowledge of that would be really useful. Now, this isn't meant to be a comprehensive list, but it will get you started. 